What is up guys, Blue Sun JRPGs here, back with another video. This time talking about some of the awesome shmups or shoot 'em ups that we got for the PlayStation 4. Uh, now all the games I'll be talking about today will actually be physical games, games that you can actually go out and get an actual CD or Blu-ray or whatever they actually make these games of today. Um, three are imports, but one actually you can get in your local GameStop. Um, but the first game of course is Raiden. 5, or Raiden V. I like the V, I don't know why, I'm, I'm weird like that. Um, but what an awesome game, guys. Um, you guys will know if you've seen my Xbox 360 um, shmup videos, I'm a massive fan of Raiden. I think Raiden 4 is probably the best shmup on the Xbox 360. And you can actually also get this game on Xbox One as well. Um, but I do have the PS4 version here. I want to keep all my shmups on one console, it's kind of the way I do it. Um, or all my games on console in general. But Raiden, F Raiden 5, uh, what an awesome game, guys. Obviously, you can see it. Incredibly, incredibly um, beautiful looking game. Um, crisp graphics, and it's really everything you expect out of the Raiden series. Um, you know, for me, Raiden has always been, has always been associated with, with class or quality. And you've just come to expect the simple things done right in this series. Um, one of the traditional formats they use too is they always use like an American ship that's extremely overpowered as far as like attack goes and uh, armor and they have a Japanese ship that's usually quicker and then a French French ship that's wicked quick um, and I think that represents a really awesome dynamic to the game because it keeps the game fresh and you'll actually see that throughout this video the all these games they're great games because they they know how to keep this game fresh you can play this game for for a day or or 30 days um, and it just never gets old um, games like these the weapons they're obviously very similar to and they are very, they're obviously very familiar to anyone who's ever played any of the Raiden games you have the uh, laser beam that shoots straight the laser beam that shoots uh, like a locked on as you can see here in this video and then like the just the hail of bullets um, you know I don't particularly think any of those are particularly overpowered um, I will say that the one that does the laser that the laser that does shoot straight is a little underpowered compared to the other two, so I kind of try to avoid that if I can. Um, but other than that, this game is such an amazing game. Awesome power-ups. I like how they implemented the shield system in this game rather than just the lives. Definitely created a unique experience. The second game is actually the only one you can get in North America physical, and that is Cine Mora. Now, guys. A probably, you know, I'll say this, probably one of the most unique shoot 'em ups I've ever played. And absolutely fantastic. I'm not sure if maybe that's the reason it came out to the West where none of the other games did, as far as physical copies go. Um, but the game is so special. Um, it's not my favorite of the four games, but it's just so unique, and I think they did a great job with this game. Um, it's the, There's no life bar in this game. The way that you die is by running out of time. So every time that you get hit by an enemy uh, missile or just hit an enemy in general, you're going to go down in, in, in um, time. And every time you kill one, you're going to go up in time. Um, so when you actually hit zero is when you die, obviously. The game implements a lot of cool things too that you don't see in other games, like the ability to slow down time. I know that's, that's actually fairly common, but the way they do it in this game is just so unique. Um, it has a really cool like steam pe steampunk feel too, which is really awesome. And then you get the whole World War II vibe. Well, at least the planes look like they're World War II. And then, as you can see here, fighting the trains. It it just comes off like a World War II steampunk new agey feel, even if the technology is futuristic. If it makes any sense. And this game definitely has a little bit of a learning curve. Um, it's very hard to master this game. I'll say that. Pretty easy to get going, but it's very hard to master. And I'm not the best shmup player out there. I do enjoy them, but I'm just not the greatest at them. I mean, there are people that would destroy me in these games. Um, so if you're new to the series or new to the genre, I'd probably recommend avoiding this one. But hey, for $19.99 and a physical game at GameStop, I mean, this might be the best option you guys have to actually get into the genre. And then the next game we have is Darius Burst CS uh, Chronicle Saviors, if you will. I guess that's pronounced right. Who knows? Um, this game, so much mixed emotions about this game. I kind of messed up buying the Japanese version. Um, you know, all the other Japanese import games I have, 
there are clear English titles. I can read them. I understand perfectly what's going on. Um, as you see, Caldarius Blaze, um, Raiden 5, no problem at all reading those games. This game is not the case. I really should have bought the digital copy on this. Should have done some more homework, maybe. So if you do pick this game up, pick the digital copy up. It's not worth getting the physical because you can't read it very well. Um, but other than that, um, game is obviously a stunning game. Really, it's so incredible how far shmups have come. Um, even from the Xbox 360. But really, going back to the uh, Sega Genesis, which has some amazing shmups. Um, SNES, which has amazing shmups. Um, PlayStation 1 even, you know, this it's unbelievable really. And you would think that this is a genre that doesn't really need amazing graphics. But it goes a long way when you actually take into consideration the hit detection. Um, and you know, nothing about these games is that not a single one of these games experiences slowdown. At least I didn't notice any. Maybe somebody in the comments is going to kill me for that. Um, but I didn't experience any slowdown in this game. Um, I will say I am not the biggest fan of side scrollers. Um, but I mean, it's not really the not really the game's fault. That's the genre it is. Um, but an awesome soundtrack on this game, guys. I'll let you listen to that for the last five seconds of the game footage here. And then the last game, Caldarius Blaze. Caldarius Blaze. I'm not sure how to pronounce any of these games, guys. Uh, my Japanese is awful. Um, but I definitely do enjoy them. And this is one of my favorite, guys. Um, actually one of my favorite shmups of all time, I'll say that. Um, I've had a blast playing this game. Um, you know, I'll say about this whole, the whole, um, generation of shmups. That I think the stories have gotten a lot better. Um, I'm actually finding myself actually paying attention to the stories. And who the hell does that in shmups? Um, but again, there's actually eight different combatants you can actually choose from in this game. Or eight different fighters, whatever you want to call them. Um, and they're pretty damn unique. I mean, as you can see, you got this one, Lilith, shooting the laser beam. Um, it's just so unique. I mean, it almost looks a lot like a Raiden game, um, but, it's so, it, but it is very different at the same time. But you can definitely tell there's some kind of inspiration there. Um, apparently, this was like a 360 game as well, too. Um, I think it was a J Japan-only game, though, because I never saw it. I haven't seen it. Um, but either way, guys, beautiful, beautiful game. Um, like I said, the... The levels are so varied, um, the combats are so varied, um, the crisp graphics that we all expect, a good story mode, great controls, um, great feel to the game, great power-ups. I mean, there's not really one aspect of the game that I see that you can improve on this on. Um, there are a lot of YouTubers who've actually played this game um, as co-op. I haven't played a co-op, um, but it looks like it's pretty cool co-op as well too. Um, so if you have a friend, it might be a good opportunity to play with them on a shmup. But massive, massive thanks, guys, for checking out my video. I hope I'll be able to do another um, part two of these for the PlayStation 4. Uh, hopefully, they'll come up with some more shmups. Or hopefully, there's some shmups I haven't discovered yet. But either way, guys, massive, massive thanks for watching the video. Really appreciate all the support. Be sure to hit that like button or hit that subscribe button. Peace out.